Now at 4.30 and on just one station, a community asking for help after some life-saving equipment is swiped. A volunteer group who mostly serves Jewish communities now without some much-needed medical equipment. 7's Rosh Lowe is live at the scene in Northwest Miami-Dade with more on this. Rosh? Well, you know what? It could very well be that when this crook broke into a car, this crook may have had absolutely no idea what was in a bag that kind of looks like this one here. Turns out that there was life-saving medical equipment in that bag, and this organization now putting the call out there. They are desperate to get that equipment back. This is our standard uh, trauma bag, which all our responders are equipped with. Zalman Cohn is a first responder and director for Hutsala in North Miami Beach. They take the bag thinking it's a bag full of PlayStations, and they open it up and say, wait a second, this is a bunch of trauma gear. What am I doing with this? Hatsala, a community organization that helps save lives. This is extremely important. This is life-saving equipment. This is uh, medical equipment. Uh, this is equipment used to treat life-saving medical emergencies. Now he says someone has stolen critical medical equipment. This was discovered Wednesday morning. He says it was stolen from the car of Yaka Fried, a teacher in North Miami Beach. In that bag, medicine. Oxygen. It was an oxygen tank, and we had masks for that as well. We had splints. I had uh, cravats. We had um, different types of bandages. Also, um, equipment to take vitals. Let me explain to you what Hatsala is. They're a nonprofit organization comprised of licensed EMTs and paramedics. They were created so they could have a fast response time. They primarily service the Jewish community. It's a national organization with local chapters. Now, they have several of these clearly marked vehicles, but many of their members drive around in their own private cars. They're on call, and they carry these trauma bags, which are so essential in saving lives. The hope is whoever stole this bag will simply return it. Now equipped with the knowledge, they have stolen the ability of the volunteers to help people and stolen thousands of dollars worth of medical equipment. Back in December 2011, we covered a similar case where Hatsala volunteer had his equipment stolen. In that case, the stolen goods were found in a dumpster. It's a bit of a blow for us, uh, you know, when we're out there at 3 in the morning taking calls, you know, and to have a setback like this where somebody just, you know, without any compassion to what we do and to the consequences of stealing uh, medical equipment like this, life-saving equipment, uh, it's just very disconcerting. Yeah, very disconcerting in this organization, very concerned. They've lost all this medical equipment. There is also a fee associated. If you have any information on this case, pick up the phone, call Crime Stoppers. That number is 305-471-TIPS. This happened in Northeast Miami-Dade off of Northeast 171st Street and 12th Avenue. We're live in Northeast Miami-Dade, Rosh Lowe, 7 News.